darling, are you sure about this? I am not a normal girl. My dear, you're perfect. I only wish I had realized that sooner. Then by the power invested in me, I pronounce you man and wife. Good morning, good afternoon, or good night, or whatever time it may be in your part of the world. My name is Mr. John Wayne, and I am a variety gamer. I play everything from the Fallout franchise all the way to the Soulsborne series. Welcome, everybody, to another episode of our 100% walkthrough of Fallout 4. I hope everybody's doing well. I know that I am. And today, we are going to be helping out Travis and getting rid of Cook from Diamond City. So without further ado, let's get started. We're going to start by going to the dugout in. Let's go talk to Vadim. Oh, here we go. Try it, Yippee. All right, you. Tell me. Diamond City Radio is terrible, yes? Makes you want to cut your own ears off. Yeah, it's pretty bad. This is what I tell you, P. Something must be done. Radio is bad for business. Makes customers unhappy. Either we have unhappy customers listening to bad DJs, or we have no music and customers have boredom. But Dean, it's true. Don't listen to my brother. Someone needs to get rid of him. We need a new DJ for the radio. I don't think many would notice if he, you know, disappeared. Are you serious? Did we not just agree this is serious problem? Calls for serious solution. First, you get him to follow you out of town. The game oh, right. That's this enough. isn't funny. My game isn't serious. He doesn't really want to kill Travis. Okay, what's really going on here? <laughs> Sorry, we was just... Joking around a bit. <laughs> it, it's true. Only jokes. Travis is a good friend. Yefim and I worry about him. Well, Travis, he, he means well, but he does not have the confidence he needs for that job or anything else, really. And so he's always awkward. He does not believe in himself, you see? He expects he will fail at everything, and so he does. Well, that can always be turned around. Exactly. This is what I'm telling you, Fim. Go on, spoil sport. Go back to working. We will figure out how to help Travis. Come, you. Meet me in back room. We discuss plan. Always on good behavior, aren't you? I try to be. Seems like you're doing better than trying. I appreciate it. Too few folks can be bothered. Of course, in my experience, if you want to do real good, Playing nice only gets you so far. I mean, look at Diamond City, a place I've been trying to warn of real danger. But every issue I publish, all I hear is, oh, Piper, why don't you ever publish anything happy? Piper, why can't you write something nice for a change? It's enough to make me want to hang up my hat some days. Is Diamond City really in danger? It's not like there's raiders pounding on the gate. Are you kidding me? There is a very real chance the city leadership has been infiltrated by an institute synth. A synth under the control of an organization widely known to kidnap or murder anyone that stands up to them. I'd take raiders at the gate any day of the week over that. Of course, making sure folks are actually listening. <laughs> That's a battle in itself. Sounds like it must be exhausting. <laughs> no kidding. But people, they deserve to know the truth. Sure, it can be scary. Knowing what's really out there. <laughs> a night doesn't go by, I'm not afraid. Some institute drone will decide today's the day to pay old Piper and family a visit. But it's worth it, because I know the truth. That's what protects us. Absolutely. Couldn't agree more. How can you protect you and yours if you don't know what you're facing? Exactly. Most folks, though, they'd prefer a comforting lie. Not me. I've seen firsthand what the truth can do. My sister and I, we grew up way out in the Commonwealth, tiny little settlement. Our dad, he was part of the local militia, <laughs> keeping the raiders off our backs and the Mirelurks out of our latrines, as he'd describe it. Well, uh, one day, 
our dad turns up dead. His captain, asshole named Mayburn, claims raiders must have gotten him on watch. Well, I didn't buy it. I start making inquiries. Turns out, the captain, he'd sold out. Thought he wasn't getting paid enough to babysit the town. He was going to leave the gates open one night. Let a group of raiders sack the place and take a cut of the profits. My dad found out and was going to turn Mayburn in, but Mayburn got to him first. And I wasn't about to let that bastard get away with murder. I tried talking to the mayor, but he wouldn't listen. So, I papered the entire town in posters. Wanted for gross dereliction of duty, Captain Mayburn. The mayor sure wanted to talk after that. The town threw Mayburn out on his ass and were dug in when a very surprised group of raiders finally showed. What happened after that? We made do. Sis was still pretty young at the time and mom was out of the picture. So we got by on the kindness of others for a while. Eventually, I saved up enough to book us both passage with a caravan and then we moved on up to the big city. Called it home ever since. I'm sorry about your dad. Thanks. It was hard after he was gone, but knowing that he died doing right, that's always made it easier. But hey, I, I'm sorry if I've been rambling. I just get fired up sometimes. It's just nice to talk to someone who, who actually seems to get it, you know? So should we head out? Let's go ahead <laughs> and go in this room and grab a hollow tape. And listen to it. Wake up, Commonwealth. Since they're not your enemy, they are victims in this war as well. True, they were created by the Institute, but they were created as slaves. Thinking, feeling, and dreaming beings, utterly oppressed by their tyrannical masters. So join with us in fighting the real enemy, the Institute. Join the railroad. When you're ready for that next step, don't worry. We'll find you. Let's talk to Vadim. Okay, let us get down to brass tacks. I am glad you are willing to help. Unlike my deadbeat brother. Travis is a good guy. He deserves better life. So, what did you have in mind? I'm gonna need some more in the way of details. Ever been in bar fight? I can hold my own, if that's what you mean. This one's a pretty tough cookie. Exactly what I mean. I want you to back up Travis in his first fight. I want to stage fight here in dugout. Nothing too serious. Uh, we make sure Travis wins and feels good about himself after. I want you to be there to help make it look real. What do you think? Sound good to you? I'm on board. When do we start? Why not soon as possible? I have contacts, people I can count on, real tough looking, but they will take a dive for man. They confront Travis here at dugout. You step in and teach him who she needs to stand up to them. Then you and Travis take them down. Nothing gets too rough, and Travis is something he can feel good about. Simple, right? I have everything ready by six o'clock. Travis should be here by then. You show up, and it will go well. Promise. Now let's go ahead and go outside and wait till 6 p.m. I'll see everybody in just a second. I'm just, I'm, I'm only here for a drink. Oh, what's wrong? It's not so tough once you're not on the air. You tell him. I'm just, I'm, I'm only here for a drink. I don't like you, and I don't like your radio. What you gonna do about it? Hey there, pal. Oh, it's you. Everything okay here? Does it look okay? Because, no, it is not. I don't, I have no idea what I did to deserve this. I just wish they'd go away. Why not stand up to them? No, I mean, no. That would be bad. With these men, it could, well, it, it, could, it could turn violent. Don't worry. I've got your back. Well, if you think it would work, we're right behind you. 
Get oh. lost. Um. Hi. There. Um. Okay. That's... Well, that's enough. Oh, I'm sorry. You say something. I said... I said, that's enough. Leave me alone. <laughs> Look at you. Hmm, let me think about that for a second. Um, nah, I don't think so. I, I mean it. Leave me alone. Well, sounds like you were thinking about saying, or else. <laughs> were you, Travis? Were you going to say, or else? I'm wondering what comes after that. What you gonna do, little man? I'll, I'll beat you up! Big mistake, Travis. I'm gonna destroy you and your friend here. Let's go into our Pip-Boy really fast. And we're gonna take off... Oh, our gun's not equipped? I thought it was equipped. Alright, well... <coughs> let's take out... Gruger, I think his name is. There we go. Oh, God, my jaw. Bullshit, man. Just Why bullshit. Doing this? this is bullshit, man. This is not what I said. Travis. Up for. Whoa. This ain't over. I, I can't believe it. We did it. I knew you had it in you. I can't. I can't believe it! You were right! Oh! I've... I've got things to do now. Listen, really, I, I can't thank you enough. Beat it, pal. <laughs> I think that went well! <laughs> Ready for the next part of foolproof plan? Bring it on. Good attitude. It's nice indeed. You have seen Scarlet, yes? She has worked here for some time. Now, I am just simple bartender, but I see things. I see how Travis looks at her, and I see that sometimes she looks at him. If someone who was not her employer suggests that she go spend time with Travis, it might do him some good. Why do I have to be involved in this? Think about it. I am Scarlet's boss. I tell her she needs to go see Travis. Suddenly she is thinking she is no longer just waitress. Just do whatever it takes to get her to agree to see Travis. And this will all be worth it. And you and I never talked about this, all right? Let's go talk to Scarlet. Just stop, okay? We got our own problems. Scarlet's gonna be over by where Mayor McDonough made his big speech earlier into the walkthrough. Miss? I'm on a break right now. Can I ask you something personal? It's about Travis. Travis? Really? Did he... did he mention me? Uh, I heard about the fight. Travis was... well, he was brave. Yeah? Absolutely. You should really pay him a visit. You think? I mean, I've definitely noticed him. Maybe... No. No, I couldn't just go over there. What are you so nervous about? What's the worst that can happen? Believe me, I can think of some pretty horrible things. Look, I'm just not ready for that. Look, Travis is a nice guy. I can tell that you like him. And I think he likes you. Just go talk to him. Okay, I will. I'll go see him now. Thanks. Let's go back to the dugout inn. You look a little roughed up. You should talk to Doc Crocker over at the Mega Surgery Center. I hear you've been asking questions around town. What, Diamond City's got two private dicks now? This is terrible. Oh, I knew it. I knew it. He was up to no good, and look what's happened now. 
You've got to help. I can't do it. You've got to help me. Take it easy. It'll be all right. Just tell me what happened. They took him. They took Vadim. Th those men, th the ones that messed with Travis, they came back. Said Vadim owed the money, that they had a deal. He, he wouldn't pay. And then they grabbed him and said that they would make him pay. And then they just dragged him out. You have to do something. Please tell me you can do something. I'll bring him back, Yefim. Count on it. Please, just bring him back. He's an idiot, but he's my brother. I'd go with you, but someone has to stay here. Talk to Travis. Maybe he knows where they took him. Ever been up in the stands? Let's just say they can afford a lot of clothes. You have marvelous bone structure. Stop by the mega surgery sometime. I'm too friggin' slow to join the Minutemen. Let's go talk to Travis. Hey there. What's going on? I need your help. Vadim's been kidnapped by Bull. That's not funny. I'm not joking around, Travis. This is serious. I really do need your help. Wait. Really? Oh. Oh man, wow, is this, this is because of what happened, isn't it? It's, it's my fault. No, Travis, this is between Vadim and those men. It's not your fault. But if I hadn't gotten into that fight with them, maybe this wouldn't have happened. Don't do that to yourself. All we can do now is figure out how to make this right. Look, I don't, I don't really, I mean, I don't have a lot of friends. If Vadim is missing or in trouble or whatever, then I'm going to help get him back. All right. I'd welcome the help. Good. I didn't... I didn't want to have to argue about it with you. I've heard enough to know they're probably holed up at the old Beantown Brewery. we got to go in there, show them we mean business, and, and then we can bring Vadim back, and everything will be okay. Right? I'll... I'll get a gun, and I'll meet you there. We'll settle this. I'm on a break right now. Before we go help Travis, let's go pay Cook a visit and get him to leave Diamond City so that Paul can uh, stop complaining. Hey, ain't no shame in taking the occasional cap. Solomon can hook you up. You need a haircut. Go inside the colonial tap house. Meet you there then. Don't be late. Yeah, yeah, I'll be there. I just have to close up. We need to talk, Cook. Oh, yeah? Is there some kind of problem? Are you sleeping with Paul Pembroke's wife? I really don't see what business it is of yours who I'm sleeping with. Paul asked me to talk to you. So here I am, asking nicely. And I'm asking you, nicely, to turn back around and go tell Paul to come talk to me himself, if he's man enough. Think this through. Darcy isn't worth dying for, or killing for. Think about what you're doing to poor Paul. You know what? You're right. This whole thing with Darcy and me, bad idea, I admit it. Not like I planned it or anything. She was just always hanging around here. You know how it is. Look, tell Paul it's over. I swear, I won't even let her in my bar anymore. Is that good enough for you? It's a good start. Something more concrete would help. Yeah, okay, I get it. I have an idea, something I've been thinking about for a while already. Kill two birds with one stone, you know? What's the idea? Here's the deal. I have some other um, businesses on the side. One of them is helping Nelson Latimer spend his dad's money to make himself feel like a gangster. Who's Nelson Latimer? Malcolm's kid. An arrogant little pissant. But useful since he has all the money in the world and likes to think of himself as a budding crime boss. 
me and Nelson are supposed to be meeting some gentleman from Good Neighbor to exchange Nelson's cash for their chems. My plan is simple. We take the money and the chems. Hold on. I have some questions first. Yeah? What is it? Why do you want to screw these guys over all of a sudden? Oh, it isn't all of a sudden. Nelson's been complaining about my cut for a while now. He may be thinking about trying to strike out on his own. I've been waiting for the right opportunity to present itself, and here it is. Anything else? What about afterwards? Won't everyone be after us? Come on. You know the answer. No witnesses. Anything else? Why smuggle chems into Diamond City? Chems aren't illegal here. Sure. But Mayor McDonough takes a big cut of all the chems brought into town. Not everybody thinks that's good business. That's where me and Nelson come in. He fronts the cash, I make the arrangements. Cheap chems for Diamond City. Everybody wins. Anything else? That's it. Okay. So you're in then? I don't know. An awful lot of unknowns. Trust me. We can do this. No problem. The meeting's always in the same place. They always bring the same number of guys. They'll never know what hit them. I guess it's worth the risk. Let's do this. Now you're talking. I promise you won't regret it. In a few hours, we're both going to be sitting pretty. Let's follow Cook to the location. Hold on a minute, Cook. Yeah? What is it? Oh, my. That's it. Let's go, then. Just hold on a minute, Cook. Oh, my God. Yeah. I just want to get out of what the door. Ugh, this is stupid. That's it. Let's go, then. Well, look. Diamond City's number one trouble. That was really stupid. I can't believe that every time I clicked on the door, even though it said go to Diamond City, it'd make me click on Cook. Amazing. Let's chase uh, Cook down here. Everything outside the wall ain't safe. That's just how it is. Nelson's starting to think he doesn't need me. Cook's gonna have a little bit of dialogue as we're following him, by the way. Where the hell is he going? You're late, but I'm sure Trish won't hand over the chems until I get there. You see, I'm the one she trusts. Luckily, he's not nearly as smart as he really is. Oh, wow. What are we fucking doing here? and a lot less hair if we stick around here too much longer. Well, at least we fixed them. 
Oh, please don't limp your whole way there, bud. Okay. The joys of playing a Fallout game, or actually not just a Fallout game, a Bethesda game. Here we are. The meat is just ahead. Well, there's always four of Murawski's goons. Trish, who's in charge, and then three other guys to unload the boat and wave their guns around. You should be able to work your way around these buildings to get a good angle on them. I'll wait for the shooting to start, then join in from here. Remember, we can't afford to let anybody get away. Let's go um, take these guys out. Hey, something's out there. I wonder if this is normal for other journalists. Perfect. Don't move. Uh, you don't have to kill me. I won't talk. I swear. How can I be sure you won't send anyone after me? You're not actually thinking about leaving her alive. I'll tell Moroski it was Gunners, okay? You can trust me. And uh, I'll give up Moroski's chem lab. This here? <laughs> This is nothing compared to what he's got stashed there. What's at this chem lab? More chems than you can imagine. Morowski's entire stash. But you'll never find it without my help. Tell me what you know first. Well, okay. I'm trusting you, right? The lab is in the old Forley fish packing plant on the waterfront in South Boston. What's so secure about that? The place is overrun with feral ghouls, which don't even look twice at my crew, because they're all ghouls like me. My idea, by the way. Why wouldn't the feral ghouls bother you and your crew? What? You don't know? Ferals don't bother us normal ghouls. I don't know why. Maybe we taste bad or something. But they're just for cover anyway. The real security is a system of tripwires that have to be triggered in exactly the right order to open the door to the lab. You never even know the lab was there when the door is closed. So how do I get in without hitting all the tripwires? With a password, which I can give you. There's a terminal that will bypass the tripwires and open the door to the lab. So I have your promise, right? If I give you the password, you let me walk? And you promised to not tell Morowski that I had anything to do with this? Yeah, yeah, of course. I already told you. After I leave here, I've never heard of you in my life. The password is Applejack. There, now you've got everything. And I've got completely screwed forever. I hope you can live with that. Sorry, Trish. I'm gonna let I'll them duke it out. So that's that. I told you it was no problem. The money should still be on Nelson's body. And then there's these chems, which you'll need to sell somehow. But that's your problem now. I'm leaving town for good. Should make things easier for Paul to have me gone. Plus, there's no plausible way I could explain to Morowski how I wasn't involved in this unless I die here along with everyone else. Good luck, Cook. I hope it works out for you. Don't you worry about me. I've been planning this move for a while. I'll be fine. Let's loot everything in here. There's a ton of Kims, which, yes, we can sell for quite a bit of money. That should be good. Oh. No, no, it should not. Now it should be good. Let's make our way to where Travis is.
Also, let's get some right away. Oh, man, I can't believe Cook got hung up on that car. That was so obnoxious. We want to be really careful here. Looks like we got some enemies. Yep. Had some raiders over here. Looks like they just had pipe pistols, so... Nothing too serious. Um, I was about to say, the hub flower needs to get out of my way. Oh, looks like we got another scavenger. Take them out before they take us out. Like I said, I don't know why they make the scavengers hostile. They don't have to be. I don't think it's every scavenger, obviously, but I don't know. Just doesn't make sense to me. Raiders being hostile makes sense, but scavengers? Why? Let's grab this day tripper. Some bobby pins. And then let's pick the lock on here. Yes. Piper should you're like that. Good at that. Like maybe next time you're in my house, I need to keep an eye on you. Good. We're gonna take a right here. We're gonna see all this fire and smoke over here. We're gonna go check out what's over here. Come down here, we can see blood on the ground. If we come up here, we can see a trail of blood. There's some on the tree. Down there, on the ground. And it leads to this cave. So let's crouch and go inside this cave and see what made the trail of blood. We have a Zetan alien. Shoot him in the head. And then on his body, we can pick up the alien blaster pistol. Pretty sweet weapon. Let's get out of here. We're just going to head off this way and come up to the railroad tracks. Uberlin Station is a settlement. You can help them out and then you can make that a settlement if you'd like. I don't think I will. I try not to have too many settlements in the wasteland just because it's really hard to maintain them all. All right, we have made it to our destination, the Bean Town Brewery. Let's go help Travis, and then after this uh, quest, we will end the video. This isn't a very long quest, or at least section of the quest. Oh, thank God, you're here. So this is it. Odds are, if they've got Vadim, he's inside. We're we're going to be okay, right? Definitely. We'll be fine. Okay. Okay. Good. I mean, I can do this. Totally. That's a good attitude. Because in a minute, you're going to have to. Any, uh, any last minute advice? I've never done anything like this. I go in first, and you stay behind me. Watch my back. Okay. Whatever you say. Try to be sneaky, ladies and gentlemen. Ah! And 
And again, me being sneaky doesn't matter because I suck, I guess. Oh my god, I really do suck. Piper! <laughs> Stepping in front of me is not smart. Come on out. I'll make it nice and quick. You can trust. Oh. What? Seriously, a Piper? Bunch of junk. Lou, we're not alone here. There we go. We're gonna go upstairs here. There's gonna be two more. There's a cap stash. It normally the cap stash is right here. By the way, it's just. They set off a grenade trap and it blew it off the shelving. There we go. And then if you want to loot... Oh my god, people, get out of the way. If you want to loot this uh, area, feel free. There's a ton of stuff in here. And it's all worth looting. This is the grenade trap that they set off. Idiots. <laughs> they said it and then they fucking kill themselves with it. Awesome. Nobody said raiders were smart, right? There's Tower Tom. Let's grab the Picket Fences magazine. Excellent. That one worth reading? Hell of a setup just to get people sauced. <clears throat> Thank you. I didn't know if anyone would come. I thought perhaps this is the end. Uh, thank you. Thank you. You are true friend. You're welcome, Vadim. We weren't going to leave you to these guys. You are a good man. <laughs> these idiots had caps and chems just lying around. <laughs> they, they did not notice when I filled my pockets. You deserve what I took. Ah, and Travis, I am surprised to see you here. <laughs> hey, Vadim, I'm glad you're safe. How did you get roped into this? I, I wasn't forced or anything. I wanted to help. <laughs> you are full of surprises, my friend. <clears throat> Man, what a day, huh? Hey, listen. I wanted to say thanks. This has been, well, it's been crazy. But I've learned a lot, I think. You came through it all pretty well, Travis. That's good to hear. Thanks. Pretty well? I barely recognize you, Travis. After all this, I think about the things that had me worried so much, and it just seems silly, you know? Like... Was I really that worried about just being on the radio? That's nothing compared to being beaten up, shot at. I can do so much more. And I need to. Anyway, thanks again. I owe you. We finished up confidence, man. Let's put a level in before we head out here. And we're going to put it into, not Gunslinger, Gun Nut. And then we'll grab this Gwinnett Brew recipe. We're going to need that much later. And then let's lockpick this safe real quick. Sweet. Grab everything out of it. Yep, Piper liked that. And we have everything that we want. Let's go outside and then we're going to end the video. All right, everyone, I want to thank you all for stopping by. I really appreciate it. If you enjoyed the video, please hit the thumbs up button. If you didn't, hit the thumbs down button. Let me know why down in the comments below. It only helps the channel. Also, if you enjoy content just like this, be sure to hit that, hit that subscribe button. 
And like always, everybody, I hope you have a good morning, a good afternoon, or a good night, or whatever time it may be in your part of the world. Mr. John Wayne, signing off.